This is the Western School. We're going to take you on a tour around and show you our wonderful facilities and our wonderful children. This is um, Simon Cox, who's a deputy head teacher here at Westlands. I'm John Whitcomb. I'm executive head teacher of the Westlands Academies Trust, and I've been in that position since the 1st of September this year when we opened up as a, a new style academy. Well, there's a short answer more money. We benefit by an extra £700,000. And then there's a more detailed answer. The school community was keen to do it and the governors were keen to do it because it, it's recognition of the outstanding work that we have achieved here at this school. It was presented to schools that were outstanding as judged by Ofsted and who had the capacity to run their own affairs. Actually the school feels the same now as it did prior to us becoming an academy in, in, in September. Don't they look smart and well presented, those children? Perfect. That additional money we will use here locally. Yes, there are additional costs that uh, we will incur, but those costs are you know, nowhere near the £700,000 that we gain. We will spend it directly on our children. The money will go from central government to the Western School, and we will spend it on the Western's community. If you like, we're cutting out the middlemen. We had a difficult experience last summer with our roofs here at the school and the local authority quoted £1.25 million to repair the roofs. You know, we as a school put to them, we will see if we can fund it in a different way, sourcing local contractors to do that work as opposed to county or national contractors. And we have begun that process at a significantly cheaper rate to, to affect the same thing, which is a better roof than, than that which we currently have. One could call it selfish, but on the other hand, we're actually doing it in the best interests of the young people that are sitting in front of us in the, in the classroom each day of the week. I think the lesson in that is that successful, uh, effective schools are often better placed at sourcing um, you know, local contractors to do work on their school sites than local authorities. On the evening of the 31st of August, I was at the solicitors until half past ten at night, waiting to sign the commercial transfer agreement between ourselves and Kent County Council to release us from maintained status. This is one of our many letters that we've had from uh, uh, Michael Gove. He has entered into uh, the funding agreement uh, to allow both Westlands and Westlands Primary to convert to uh, academies. And uh, yes, this was the letter we received on the 31st of August. I got a phone call, actually, ironically, from the local authority, from, uh, from a senior local authority officer to say, uh, that's it, John, you've passed, I think was the phrase that was used. And uh, I got the news whilst I was running the line at my son's uh, football match. And uh, yeah, it was hard to uh, uh, maintain concentration upon the offside rule whilst um, I'm sort of fidgeting in my pocket to try and get my mobile phone to see whether or not I'm getting an email through from the Secretary of State. There was a lot of myth in terms of what uh, New Start Academies actually meant. What it essentially meant is that you had greater freedoms and uh, uh, autonomy over how you ran your affairs on a day-to-day -day basis. Schools that are new start academies have a responsibility for working with schools that aren't you know, at the, at the same stage of their development in terms of you know, needing support guidance. And you know, that's very much the heart of what we do here at this school and, it, and we wanted to, to continue that and almost formalise that, that kind of work. This is Lynn Pearson, head of school here at the Westlands Primary School. I operate as the head teacher at Westlands but also in this curious title, executive head teacher here at the primary school. My role, if anything, becomes almost that of a school improvement partner to, to bounce off, to provide challenge, to, to ask critical questions. This is the Westlands Primary School and we're just going up to look at our reception children and year one children getting ready to go home. It feels exciting. There's a buzz about the school that I think possibly wasn't here before because we're doing something a bit different. They were in challenging circumstances. Their results weren't as good as they should have been. It seemed natural that we would work with our largest school, who feeds to us at the age of 11, for the benefit of their, of their children, because we felt that they were our pupils of the future. It was just a natural partnership. It seemed the perfect marriage, if you like. The governing bodies have now merged into an overall governing body. The schools are working very, very closely together. 
excellent, well done. My name is Lack McCaw. I'm a maths teacher at Westlands School. We have year sixes from Westlands Primary and they come to us for their English and all their English and their maths lessons every day five times a week. I think it's great. I think it's, I mean, the, the pupils are so keen. And I think one of the things that they're sort of, uh, that they're coming to big school, when they come here in September, then next year, as many of them will do, um, they're going to be confident. How I interpret it is it's the, it's the freedom to continue doing what it is that we have done so successfully over a number of years with additional financial um, resources. We went through quite a detailed consultation process and I think when teachers and support staff understood that there were going to be no seismic changes in terms of how we operated the school and that it was very much more of the same and we were going to continue with the, the same terms and conditions for teachers and support staff, I think they just sort of took it in their, their, their stripe. Excellent, brilliant, okay. The aim is not to change things. This school is a successful school. It's got, had an outstanding Ofsted and that's because of all the people that work in here together and, and make it like that. So why would you want to change that? I knew absolutely nothing at all about companies' law and the companies' acts and, and I now have an unhealthy knowledge of this. You really do have to work very closely with an effective uh, firm of solicitors to guide you through the process in terms of uh, what you need to do and uh, you know, the hurdles that need to be jumped. The challenges have been really quite uh, um, odd, I guess, and things that we wouldn't necessarily have anticipated. Simple things like changing the bank account, ensuring that uh, payroll details are transferred from one account to another. I must admit, I did have uh, a number of sleepless moments worried that on the 25th of September, staff wouldn't be paid because this account wouldn't talk to this account. and. Uh, it all seems to have gone pretty well. Now, I dare say there will be some things down the line that do cause us um, concern, um, but I, I think at the moment um, those challenges are, are few and far between. If people look for New Start Academies to be organisations that suddenly do things differently, I think to a certain extent they've missed the point. New Start Academies are outstanding schools that have excellent practice. What Academy Status does for us is it provides us with the opportunity to continue doing what it is we have done so well and to evolve and develop it, but at a gradual pace that suits our development. <laughs>